Good morning and welcome to this, the third Sunday before Advent. As we begin, let us pray. Guard our refuge and strength, bring near the day when wars will cease and poverty and pain shall end, that earth may know the peace of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So we're going to be singing our Gloria this morning. If it's a repeat, so after I've sung the first line can you sing the line back uh, as it appears on the screen glory to god glory to god glory to the father glory to god glory to god glory to the father to him be glory forever to him be glory forever. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, Son of the Father. To him be glory forever, to him be glory forever. Alleluia, amen, alleluia, amen, alleluia, amen, alleluia, amen, alleluia, amen, alleluia, amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Spirit. 
To him be glory forever. To him be glory forever. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Alleluia, amen. Come now to confess our sins, and so we pray together. Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon, deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading today is from Hebrews chapter 9, beginning at verse 24. For Christ did not enter a sanctuary made by human hands, a mere copy of the true one, but he entered into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself again and again, as the high priest enters the holy place year after year with blood that is not his own. For then he would not have had to suffer again and again since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the age to remove sin by the sacrifice of himself. And just as it is appointed for mortals to die once, and after that the judgment, so Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. When you open up a new appliance or electrical good, or indeed any other item that has a big, long, detailed booklet telling you how to use this thing you've just purchased, there seems to always be a quick start guide, this being the case for those who can't wait to see what it might be able to do. I have a camera with such a book, however, when I did eventually look through the book after I'd followed the quick guide and played with it for a few years, I did realise that by reading the book there was so much more that it could do for me. It was indeed very clever. This passage from Hebrews gives us a glimpse of a deep dive into our faith. A bit of a quick start. However, once we get started, we need to read the whole book. Otherwise, we will never know what God or ourselves are actually capable of. I present to you this morning a poem, the author unknown, but one that enables us to delve a little deeper into our faith and what that really means. And after this poem, we will still need to read the 66 books that are in the Bible. It's called Heaven's Grocery Store. As I was walking down life's highway many years ago, I came upon a sign that read Heaven's Grocery Store. When I got a little closer, the doors swung open wide and I soon found myself standing inside. I saw a host of angels they were standing everywhere. One handed me a basket and said, My child, shop with care. Everything a human needed was in that grocery store. What you could not carry, you could come back later for. First, I got some patience. Love was in that same row. Further down was understanding. You need that everywhere you go. I got a box or two of wisdom 
and faith a bag or two, and charity, of course, I would need some of that too. I couldn't miss the Holy Ghost, it was all over the place. There was some strength and courage to help me run this race. My basket was getting full. Then I remembered I needed grace. I chose salvation for salvation was for free. I tried to get enough of that to do for you and for me. Then I started the, to the counter to pay my grocery bill. I thought I had everything to do the master's will. As I went up the aisle, I saw prayer and put that in, for I knew when I stepped outside, I would run straight into sin. Peace and joy were plentiful, the last things on the shelf. Song and praise were hanging near, so I just helped myself. Then I said to the angel, Now how much do I owe? He smiled and said, just take them everywhere you go. Again, I asked, really, really now, how much do I owe? My child, he said, God paid your bill a long time ago. Let us pray. Lord, help us to watch for the signs you give us in our lives to keep ourselves walking in the light and good that you have given us. Let us all work for ways of peace in our lives and in our world. Lord, help us to look upon the needs of others with compassion. Give us hearts full to the brim of kindness and understanding. Let us be led by you in what we say and in what we do. Lord, help us to talk with you through prayer. Give us the time to talk to you and listen through faith. Let us pray each day for what lies on our hearts and burdens our minds. Lord, help us to work in your name. Help us to understand what you have planned for us in the mission, which we are part of. Let us each day praise you for the talents and gifts you have bestowed upon us. Let us be guided by you as we use them to tell others of the gospel message of salvation. Amen. So we join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen.